On today's show, a big adventure for big fish. So we'll pack the boat and head to Whitefish Bay Camp on Lake of the Woods. It's a Whitefish Bay fishing extravaganza. Next. Minnesota Bound. Brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC Dealers. Hi, everybody. Raven and I welcome you to the show. You know, one of my favorite places to go in Minnesota is Lake of the Woods. Lots of bays there. One of them is called Whitefish Bay. It's an adventure, and Bill Shirk has the story. All seems quiet on Canada's Calvert Island. Until you sneak inside. This is hot, though. Yeah, I know. When Bob and Peg Hunger cook, the food never lasts long. No, <laughs> I try very hard to keep their tummies full. <laughs> we enjoy cooking, both Bob and I do. Bob and Peg run Whitefish Bay Camp, a Lake of the Woods Island resort tucked away in a place called Whitefish Bay. You won't necessarily need a map to get there, but you'll want one once you arrive. That'll be for Pike. Now here, these are my magic fish locator pens, you understand. <laughs> Write them up. So, <laughs> cover the map. Probably want to uh, fish for some trout, so I'll use the pink for trout. We are kind of famous for them. Yeah. Bob marks hot spots for all his guests. You can see the water depths here are fairly deep. Mm. Fellow Whitefish Bay first-timer Bill Worth hopes to understand the lure of this island and this lodge. It's a reputation which hangs on the wall. That's a 38-inch trout. That's a good trout in any lake, any place in Canada. That is a success story right there. Yep, Lakers. Lake trout, oh man, Whitefish Bay is known. Rain, rain, never go away. See, Whitefish Bay's lake trout run thick come spring. Ironically, it's called the Rapala knot. Anglers find all kinds of weather to chase these trout. The fish are readily available early. And you don't have to go far to find them. So that's our run out from Whitefish Bay to lake trout fish. Uh, Whitefish Bay is the only part of Lake of the Woods that is crystal clear water. Tremendous areas of spawning habitat. Hey Bill, I'm gonna bring you a lake trout. I promise. Yeah, that's kind of hard to miss in clear water. <laughs> How many feet you said? Uh, 75. In May and June, lake trout are widely a troller's game. Yeah, and these kind of trips always take me away. They're just not in a hurry. It's too fast paced all the time back home. Okay, fish, we're ready. <laughs> to go on and dry off. <laughs> well, you're up here to fish and have a good time and I don't know, just grin and bear it. I mean, look at that, it's just a waste field of rock. Oh yeah, there's fish there. Man, that was a subtle take, but I don't know what. It might be a trout because it's staying down. Oh yeah, look at him shaking. What is this? Hey, you know, right. stand out, it's not shake, but everyone's wanting to Oh yeah, maybe she's a nice walleye. Big pike. Really, do I want to slam up my net for that? Big pike. Nice. That's just funny though, I wasn't moving at all. Oh, oh there she goes. Did you a favor? No! <laughs> well, in some ways that's gracious. She did you kind of a favor. <laughs> my hands still smell clean like so, like pike. Okay, well, you got, you got your bait. That's a sign. To start, you <sighs> broke the ice. I'm kind of hoping it was a trout, but it just wasn't shaking. It's a start, but we're going to be finished unless we get out of this hypothermic cold spring rain. Hopefully, a lunch break will give Old Mother Nature a bit of time to cut us some slack. If not, horseshoes, it is. Oh. Oh, come 
Coming up, we continue our fishing quest at Lake of the Woods, and with a little luck and a little reprieve from Mother Nature, the fishing doesn't disappoint. My goodness! <laughs> Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Minnesota Select GMC dealers. Connecticut. Ellsworth Creamery. And by Borderview Lodge. Time now to continue with our Whitefish Bay adventure. And you know, sometimes the weather just doesn't cooperate. When you chase a dream, weather certainly should not stop you. You know what I'm saying? Now? Seems a higher power has given us reprieve from Whitefish Bay's heavy wind and cold spring rain. I keep thinking you're going to get snapped any second now. <laughs> I don't know, it always just makes you jump, right? I don't know, you can't control that jump. Oh, there it is, fish out. Oh, hang on. Oh, so oh, far so good. Oh, did you crack one? I did. Woohoo! Come on, don't screw this one up. All right, it's game time. What flavor do we have? I don't know. Come on. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't I it? I love it. It don't get any better than this. Ooh, lake trout? Ooh. It looks like a lake trout, doesn't it? One, I'll tell you that. Heck yeah. Well, that's like that all the way. I met him head first. Get in there, nice oh, fish. <laughs> I can't believe the shoulders. And I just something? fought. They dude. pull. I'm just blown away. Number one, we caught a fish. <laughs> Go, Number two, we did it without rain. Away, yeah. Drowning us out. <laughs> we can breathe. All right. That fish. Oh, that's a dandy. I love it. In that moment. He was not head shaking like a normal lake trout. I thought for sure it was a big pike, but. That is why people come to Whitefish Bay. Which I couldn't hold back the excitement. It was great. What a fight. Was, yeah. I could get used to doing that kind of fishing. Ha, good thing. Boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. He just called this shot. He said, I saw what on screen. Yeah, he was peeling line so fast. I was, he just had, had shoulders, you know, he just strength. And I'm like, oh man, the drag can't be right. You know, I started doing that and started working with the drag. Hey Bill, let me get the net for you again. It was just that strong. It was a feisty fish. This is incredible. In a span of 10 minutes. Oh, another dandy lake trout. <laughs> oh, another dandy. I don't know why he's being so nice so far. He's going to take a run, isn't he? Make sure your drag's set. Bill hooks two unforgettable trout. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. You know, they're really a pretty fish. The, the water up here is pretty clear. It was different. I got to see him come up for quite a ways. Oh, he's still got some fight in him. <laughs> this is freaking cool. You saw that fish on the electronics. You said he's right there, and 20 seconds later, the baits go over him, and you're hooked up. Calling his shots. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's, that's awesome. No words needed. That's the lure of Whitefish Bay Camp. Wild fish on a wild Northwoods lake. Oh, gosh. This is just flipping awesome. Just a fat, fat fish. What a trip it's turning out to be, huh? The weather's changing and the fish are turning on. That is a beauty. Mwah. Yeah, that's a nice guy. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> Act like you're having a good time. What a nice fish. Good job. Oh, that is I'd cool. high five you, but your hands are full. Oh. Sometimes it's hard to catch a limit. And it's really too bad that we are on a lake where the fish are too big. The aggressive regulations ensure anglers can keep a couple of fish while allowing key spawning fish to go back. Very cool and part of the reason this bay is so awesome. If you don't believe me, go ahead and listen to Billy Worth. My first and second lake trout. I just like amazed. He's going to tell you all about it. Would like to stay a couple more days. 
Coming up, we highlight another Lake of the Woods destination worth putting on your bucket list. How's it going? Closed captioning is brought to you by By the Yard. You know, besides the great fishing in Whitefish Bay, lots of history there, too. Bill Scher continues with his adventure. Oh, hang on. Oh, so oh, far so good. Oh, did you crack one? I did. Woohoo! Come on, don't screw this one up. All right, it's game time. What flavor do we have? I love it. It don't get any better than this. Get in there, nice oh, fish. <laughs> With Whitefish Bay's fishy reputation netted and released, it's pretty easy to understand the lure of this part of Lake of the Woods. It's the same fishing that attracted anglers 100 years ago. One angler in particular, a pharmacist with a wild streak, a guy by the name of Ernie Calvert. Started paddling Lake of the Woods. And there was nobody doing it. In a canoe, Calvert explored and fished his way across much of the lake. Word got out that he was catching all these monstrous big fish, these big muskies and these big trouts and all this and that. People heard about it and they wanted him to take them fishing. A prosperous guide business eventually turned to resort business. And he developed four camps on Lake of the Woods in those days. And this is one of the, I think, two that remain in existence. Yes, Whitefish Bay Camp, one of Lake of the Woods' very first on the island, now named after Ernie Calvert. He liked it there because you didn't have to go far to catch big trout. That was the thing back in the old days, all you had was a canoe. That's Danny Calvert, Ernie's grandson. Danny is the keeper of all Ernie's documented history. Amazing stuff when you take the time to sit and share the pages and the stories. Uh, the advertisement that was in every drugstore in North America was a picture of a Kelbert's Camp canoe paddling through the rice. And this was this was a year that Olaf Evanry brought up this contraption they called an outboard motor. The next year, uh, Grandpa asked old Ole if he could make a, a bunch of these contraptions for him. Eventually, steamships made their way to the lake, shuttling visitors between camps. In the lake's commercial sturgeon fishing, Ernie Calvert had a vision. It's a Paul Bunyan-like tale. Sturgeon's a real oily fish, and the oil would start to weep from the fish. And Grandpa came up with the idea that why don't we try throwing one of those into the, the burner of the boiler on the steamboat and see what happens. Well, if you're a, a gearhead today, it was like throwing on the nitrous oxide. Rumor is Calvert paid fishermen to stash dead sturgeon around the lake. That stash powered Calvert's steamships. Oh, that is a true story. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah, yeah. Those stories, that history, it's one of the other big reasons people keep coming back to Whitefish Bay. Hey, welcome. Yeah, oh, this should be all right, I think. Hello. How's it going? Good. It's the lure of a still wild island and a giant lake worth exploring. All right, I'm ready. Bring it on. More surprises ahead, if the weather will allow. Next, the conclusion to our Whitefish Bay Look story. The fishing action might be fast paced, but the actual pace of life, well, that's a little different speed. Minnesota Bound, brought to you by Jesse Treble's Safe Basements of Minnesota, Vino in the Valley, Open Air Solutions, Maui Gym Sunglasses, and by Evan Root, the official outboard motor of Minnesota Bound.
We'll finish our Whitefish Bay adventure now by telling you about Calvert Island and Whitefish Bay Camp. Their life is a little slower. Out on Whitefish Bay's Calvert Island, with a nice juicy frozen Cisco, so this one's ready. Traditions remain at the core of Bob Hunger. Bob and his wife run Whitefish Bay Camp. So let's push that back in. And come every spring, Bob fishes the bay's lake trout right from shore. Drop a line where the fish hide. This is the canning part. You can use a can as a bobber, so to speak. To visit this part of the world is to understand life moves along at a slightly different pace. That is a good thing. Life has taken on a pace that isn't particularly healthy. <laughs> what we like to do is to show people that you can slow down. Well, until... Can, can, can. Blue light. I'm gonna hand line them. I think it was just wind. On the far right As you explore, you kind of get it. You have the easy access and you can use boats and motors here. Today, we need the Lund. Holy cow! We see blue sky, but now we've got high pressure and wind. It's been wacky weather, Trevor. All right, I've got a fish. This is a little better. Then we may net this one. You know, maybe it's a lake trout. Huh. Is that a Look at that. <laughs> wow. A thump. Nice job. Even with all our wacky weather, Whitefish Bay's other fish oblige. Fish. Yeah. Oh, is this a netter? Pretty decent, I think. It does. It kind of seems like every fish we see, we're snapping. And when you're only 75 miles from the border and you can offer all of this and the quality of fishing, that's, that's what it's about here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let him go here. This got smoked. What's that? You do have a net. Yes, I'm having that in my hand. Oh, 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 <laughs> wow! It's turned into a good trip. By the end of our two days, I'd look for this kind of stuff. We kind of get Whitefish Bay, and to think we haven't even touched the vast majority of this inland sea. Yeah, that was great. There was lots of times we'd never seen another person. And that's what I like getting away. And not that I mind other people, but it's just peaceful. I think you kind of got your own spot on the planet. Yeah, that's the MO here. After exploring, relaxing, and understanding, I get it. It's very, very exciting uh, for us to have people come here that haven't experienced this before and we get such a kick out of introducing the area and the experience to people that come here, particularly families. So know the front door is open and Bob and Peg are waiting. Your only job is to show up. Just don't forget your camera. We think one of the most beautiful places in the world, even the rain, <laughs> you know. Whitefish Bay Camp, Whitefish Bay, that's just a little bit of all the fun things you can do on Lake of the Woods. That about does it for us. Remember, introduce the kid of the great outdoors. I'm Ron Sharon, and of course, always the star of the show. You are, right? Raven, huh? Yeah. Transportation provided by Premier Transportation. Call 1-800-899-7433. For more information on these stories and more, catch us on the web at mnbound.com.
Share your stories on the Minnesota Bound Facebook page under the Share Your Story tab.